Well, council figures reveal that passenger numbers at Port Macquarie Airport could swell to half a million per annum within the next 15 years. That's an absolutely remarkable statistic, and that's compared to the much more modest 180,000 passengers who have used the airport this financial year. With that sort of growth, it isn't surprising that Port Macquarie Hastings Council is currently formulating a master plan to ensure the region's airport facilities can cope with the predicted surge in passengers. But what exactly are the best options for Port Macquarie? One of my guests tonight believes the airport needs to be relocated altogether. He says the existing site might be working right now at the moment, but as the town expands, Port Macquarie could be left with an incredibly busy terminal in an incredibly central location. And my second guest also has concerns about some of the options that have been put forward by Council. Grant Burley and Malcolm Gerd, welcome to It's Time to Talk. Thanks, Tim. Thank you, Tim. Thanks for both of you uh, coming out and talking about this. It's one of those issues that we really need to get discussed because an amazing number of people don't even realise that the airport is under consideration at the moment by Council. Listen, I think it's important that we start off by telling the listeners that no matter what option Council eventually adopts, we need to make it clear that Port Macquarie will, without any question, have an airport that is capable of catering to Boeing 737s and A320 series aircraft, which are the same planes that travel between large domestic terminals like Sydney and Melbourne. Basically, Port Macquarie will soon enough be receiving huge aircraft. Now, Grant, you're a pilot and you land private planes at Port Macquarie Airport frequently. Do you agree that there is a growing need to expand the airport? Yeah, Tim. I think the um, the the issue is that, um, as you as you pointed out, um, we have a a growing area, the Central Coast is becoming more popular, and there's no doubt there's going to be increased um, demand for um, passenger travel in and out of the airport. And of course, the issue the council is uh, grappling with is that the current facilities, certainly in the in the longer, the medium and longer term, are not going to be conducive to the sort of aircraft requirements that the um, of the current uh, runway and the airport facilities um, entail. How long have you been landing planes at Port Macquarie Airport? Uh, we have actually got our own strip, my wife and I, Kim, and unfortunately she couldn't turn up tonight, but we've actually got our own strip um, south down at uh, Johns River, so we don't land there that often, but we come in for refuelling and uh, and, and what have you, but um, okay. probably nine years or so. Wow, and uh, so what I'm curious about, though, is have you noticed a difference, like with the increased traffic? Has it become yeah, the, a busier uh, centre? It's uh, Port Macquarie's quite a unique airport in, in Australian terms because it is not um, controlled, like certainly like Coffs Harbour and many of the other um, busy airports ports like Albury, Coffs Harbour, a number of other ones. Sorry, what do you mean it's not controlled? Control. We don't have a, um, a tower facility ah. at Port Macquarie, so okay. air traffic control, and yet we have a, um, and it's one of the, the, the points the council's probably also looking at, is a large disparity of different types of aircraft. We've now seen jets in the last 18 months coming in with the uh, introduction of Virgin, and um, we've got everything from parachute operations, microlights, um, small ultralight aircraft, and we've also got um, training schools. So it's a very busy airport. And there's and emergency services and use the airport too, don't Yeah, they? and emergency services yeah. um, come in, and particularly it was used recently as a refuelling place for a lot of the um, the helicopters that uh, were involved in the in the floods up, up north towards uh, Kempsey. Right. So, in other words, you're in agreement that the airport needs to be upgraded. It's a busy centre. But what we're discussing here tonight is exactly how should it be upgraded. And Council have a discussion paper at the moment. Uh, apparently submissions have closed for it, but it's still up for discussion. I make that point very clear, even though I'll get to Council saying otherwise. I'll talk about that a bit later. But... Um, the discussion paper which was released by Council, it highlighted a number of areas that needed attention. It included the car park, the actual terminal itself, and of course the runway, which is what you're here to talk about tonight, Grant. But Malcolm, if the car park and the terminal are already at capacity during peak times, and anyone who goes there um, to the airport, they know how busy it's getting out there, it probably is time to start putting future plans in place at the very least. But you feel strongly, Malcolm, about about this, don't you? You you don't want the existing airport upgraded any further, but instead you'd like to see a new airport established somewhere else. Can you explain to us exactly what you'd like to see happen? Sure. <coughs> Tim, it seems to me that uh, that location has been, uh, that the airport location has been current since 1953. Now, 
this is a whole different city than it was in 1953 and to to upgrade it to me seems to be short-sighted i'm sure that well i feel that uh, maybe it should be moved now to save a double move because you think eventually somewhere in the future it's going to need to be moved anyway i feel sure it will mm. so uh, and grant <coughs> i know that you're predominantly concerned about the runways but if we can just start here with the location of the airport because it's it's a good question to have do you think that it is a debate that the community should be having having about where the airport should be located well the question is where would you put another airport i think that's the first point and the, and the second point is um all councils are operating with budgetary uh, constraints and so it's a matter of trying to work with trying to get the best outcome for all concerned but at the same time to meet the budgetary constraints um one of the issues with um with moving it is it is it's a massive cost whereas the cost of um, fixing the existing runway or relocating another runway nearby is not nearly the, the cost and so the the question still remains as to whether, whether it could be moved in entirety and where you would move it to i'm 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 coming from the position that um, at this point in time, um, uh, the council's unlikely probably to move the runway, so how do we work with the council to try and get the most optimum um, result, and um, particularly for local um, amenity and uh, the, the dense residential areas that are around that surround the airport, particularly to the north, where um, my wife and I have an interest in a uh, retirement village, if you will, or which is going to be right underneath the approach on runway uh, 2-1, should the runway get moved west. I'm glad you declared that. It's funny you say that it's, it would be costly and it's not. It, it, it's unlikely. You're probably correct there. It probably is unlikely. But it was in the discussion paper mm -hmm. um, as, as a potential option. Council have got it listed there. Um, I'll just read out what it said in there for the, for the listeners. A further long-term option for consideration, according to Council, is that of moving the airport to a new site altogether to serve the Port Macquarie, Hastings and Mid-North Coast region. This option is considered long-term greater than 20 years due to the lengthy and comprehensive planning process and environmental investigations necessary to identify basically uh, a new airport site. Malcolm, you've got, um, you'd like to see it relocated now because I, I remember you saying, yeah, it would be expensive, but maybe that cost would be made up because they're not going to have to upgrade and eventually move it in the end anyway. Do you have somewhere mm. in mind where you think it would be logical to put it? Well, I've heard two things suggested. One is um, that it, it may be combined with, say, Kempsey Airport and put between the two towns, that is, between Port Macquarie and Kempsey. And the other uh, thing that I have heard, uh, and it was quoted to me at the council meeting the other night, that uh, it was quite confidently said that uh, a, a pilot coming into Port Macquarie and using Port Macquarie Airport had said categorically that he believes... Port Macquarie is heading for a, a rather bad disaster at Port Macquarie Airport and he believes it's in, in, inevitable and that's allegedly a pilot. Now, this is only coming to me second hand but uh, this was brought up at the council meeting the other evening and if that's right, you know, I mean, if that opinion exists, that's a worry for me. Well, Grant, you're a pilot. Can you elaborate on that? What does what would this gentleman have meant by a potential look, catastrophe? Look, the, the reality is, um, my wife and I have personally been involved in what I would say is um, uh, potential incidents at Port Macquarie. There's been um, situations where um, parachute aircraft have dispatched um, parachutists without making the appropriate radio calls when they should, and uh, planes entering the, the circuit on a downwind position and positioning for a landing we've had a situation where we've had to manoeuvre out the way um, not, that, not, not that there was an, a threat of an accident but the point is these sort of things happen and, and the other thing is that with Port Macquarie that I think is very unique is that you have such a huge disparity between the experience levels of pilots operating in that airport, point one and point two you have a very uh, wide disparity between the speed and the performance of the aircraft and you only have to listen on the radio quite often to the virgin planes when they're 30 miles out that means they're about probably uh, you know six or seven minutes out and uh, of course they might be talking to some vfr plane in the local area who doesn't know exactly where he is and may not have a transponder a transponder is a piece of equipment so that they can the, the uh, regional aircraft can identify them on their aircraft radar there's been times when they've been unable to identify that aircraft. Um, 
it is it is a it is something when you talk about the increased number of high performance